view here from the ground tracker. And mains are now out. We see three parachutes coming out here. Starliner has another 8,000 feet toward the landing. Those three parachutes are starting to inflate now. You can see them right there on your screen. And the main parachute's reefing open right there, continuously slowing Starliner down. Three good, three good main parachutes, looking good. Just and seconds left. You can left. see the mountains coming into frame there. We're getting very close to the ground. And touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two. And that touchdown coming at 5.49 p.m. Central Time, almost exactly six days into the mission. Just a beautiful touchdown in White Sands this evening. Our landing recovery teams will now wait for clearance before making their way to the vehicle. You see everybody has moved in now uh, to continue through our operations. Um, we should be getting you some close-up views, I hope, uh, of the capsule and the recovery as it's unfolding. Um, you could see, so as Rose has said, the mobile access platform's getting into place now. This is kind of the yellow stairs. Uh, and we are going to be able to use that to get access to the hatch uh, and all of the other items, um, all of the hatch operations. Uh, and then you may not be able to see it in every single view, but there's a large truck just to the right of the capsule from our viewpoint. Uh, with a big star liner on the side, and that's the medical truck. So it doesn't have a uh, purpose today with no crew on board, but we're still going through all of the operations as we would if a crew were flying on Starliner, and that's going to get backed up. Uh, and that'll be really kind of the first place on planet Earth that the crew goes after they return in a trip on Starliner. So we'll see that back up, uh, and then we'll get into some of the hatch ops. And